the computer can help us. And what it's primarily going to help us with is to improve the binding affinity. Why? Well, the problem is that once you have a hit, you might have a drug. Here, I even say lead, but uh, the problem with that is if the binding affinity is low, the binding affinity basically measures the chemical equilibrium right to A to B versus AB. And if K here is very low, that just means that most of the reaction is going to be on that side. It's only going to be a very small fraction of them that are here. We can fix that. If we want to push the reaction more in that direction, if A is my protein and B is my drug, the easy way to fix that is to add more drug. The more drug I add, the more I push it in that direction. But if this is a factor 1000 too low, I'm going to need to add roughly a factor of 1000 more drugs. That's going to be bad. You will start to have side effects, and not only that, you might have to eat 5 kilos of drugs per day. At that concentration, you can bet that you're going to have side effects. That will never be approved, not to mention no patient would ever be willing to take it. So we need high affinity to be able to have a drug that is likely to be effective. Otherwise, we need too much of the drug for it to bind in the first place. So we're going to need to ask the computer to help us design a drug that binds stronger once we have identified the pocket and everything from the hit. And this is the so-called lead optimization phase. So the idea I'm going from a hit, or another way of calling this is hit to lead. So I have something that works, and now I want to put this through more iterations. Try a few things, see if it improves, test that in the experiment. Try a few more things, test it in the experiment again. Pharma companies spend a lot of time here, and they go through an iteration cycle that can be three to four weeks or so. So every four weeks, the theoreticians, bioinformaticians, they're expected to have a new prediction. Then we decide what will we test in the lab. And then four weeks later, we need to have those lab results back. And then we will ask the bioinformaticians, OK, based on those new experiments, what should we test in another four weeks? So it's a very rapid cycle that you have to go through. We could not care less if you have the world's best results in five weeks. I only want to know how good can you be in four weeks.